Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the changes for the updates of the basic locomotion and melee combat versions 2.2c and the shooter version 1.1c. Okay, um, in this new update we add a new scene to show you what you can do with uh, about managing items. So it's located here at the item manager folder, the inventory examples. Uh, we add here some examples of how to manage your items. For example, a trigger to add an item by ID. Uh, another one to check and if you contain, if you have a item, you can trigger events here. It's okay. Uh, we have examples of how to drop the current item, and equip and uh, using or not animation, and or destroy the current item. Uh, we also have an example here, pretty simple, cool example of uh, in this case we need a key card to open this door. Uh, we set up a trigger to verify if you have the item, which is in this chest. And if you do, it will um, enable another a generic action, a another trigger, so we can actually uh, call sound effects and we can call everything we need here to open the door okay so let's take a look into this scene all right so if we if we go here the door is locked we can enter if we pass into the, our trigger here it will say that we need the red key card to open it uh, we can interact with this and here we have the item collection that you probably already know and here we have a simple example to identify if you have a specific item on the inventory it, which is pretty much the same that we have here uh, I, need, I need a sword okay and this we can access because of this sphere okay so let's go here and open the chest Another cool thing is that this little message that will show what you what we have collected. So we have here a red key card to open doors. Let's go back here and now we can interact. Let's press E and we open the door. Use the red key card. Here we have an example to add a item, including animation and he triggers the auto equip animation because we checked this option and this is only for uh, melee, melee weapon types okay so let's go back here and enter this trigger the, because now we have a sword and cool you have the sword this one is for drop the current item so let's pass here and we drop the, our item and this one, let's keep our item again. This one is to unequip, and we have that immediate option to check. And in this case, immediate is to not have the equip animation. It was set to false, then uh, my character unequip the, the weapon using the animation and this one is to destroy the item okay I lost my sword pretty cool so in order to have the display the little display message here about what items you collect it's pretty simple you can find it the prefab here at the item manage folder prefabs item collection display just drag and drop this into the UI we already have one here okay another uh, little change that we made is that now if you set up a new controller um, the root motion is disabled by default uh, as you may know our template always use root motion to trivial the character since the release right and Recently, 
Recently not. I, I always receive uh, some emails of guys that asking that they replace the animation but the character is not moving anymore. It's, it's animation is playing but he's in place. It doesn't actually move. And the reason is that the animation you replace is in place. It doesn't have root motion. Right? To avoid this type of situation, we disable the root motion and set up some values here so the character can walk using the rigid body instead. Okay. Uh, if you take a look at our locomotion animations here, for example the walk animation, you will see that the character actually moves forward. The animation is moving forward the character. Right? If you have an in-place animation, it will probably be like this. The animator didn't uh, actually move the character forward. He he did the animation like this. Is is it's in place? So now that we change that, if you replace your animations, it will actually move the character. But for example, uh, the generic actions we need a root motion because and animations like a step up for example uh, we need to use the root motion in order to make the character to do the action to climb up the and actually moves the root into another position right so you will drive the character using rigid body but the actions itself will have root motion enabled, right? Another cool thing about this, in this new update is that we finally add the inventory for both melee and shooter mobile. We have set up the demo scenes. You can find it at the demo scenes folder of each template along the name of uh, mobile no inventory and mobile with inventory. Okay, now to use those uh, controls. If you switch your platform now to your uh, mobile device and hit play, you will find several missing scripts. The reason is that to use the, sh the mobile controls, you need to import the cross-platform input. And we set up this package right here that contains all the necessary files. Each mobile scene contains this read first just copy the link and download the package. I already have the package here, let me import. You will see that we have the cross-platform and all the necessary um, scripts in order to mobile to work. We also have our own uh, scripts here, like the Invector joystick and the V button on off. Okay, let's hit import here. So not, now that we have our necessary scripts for the mobile inputs to work, let's change our build settings here to our desired mobile platform by hitting the switch platform button. Okay, we switch our platform. Let's check again for mobile inputs. It's enabled. And let's hit play. You can see that in this example, the character already starts with a weapon and you can replace the weapon here. It's the quick slot. Cool. Here we can open the inventory, go into our weapon, select the slot and unequip or equip a weapon. Cool. Here you can see our, our items. It works pretty much like the, the the PC version. Okay, here you can block the target, zoom in, zoom out, shot. Pretty cool, right? Let's take a look into the mo in a mini mobile inventory as well. Okay, let's play. And all right. Here we have two main slots because we have the um, the shield as well, right? But it it is um, 
pretty much the same same thing. Can change weapons here. Cool, right? Yeah. Oh, that's it for this video. I'm gonna keep a short video update, but we have we we did several uh, improvements into the template. We remove all the send message calls, which was kind of a not ideal. Uh, we improved the footstep logic, um, fix some bugs. Anyways, there is tons of improvements. I really recommend this update and all right that's it see you guys on the next next update